Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today we're going to continue working on the Dreamland, uh, Graphic 45 Dreamland 8.5 by 8.5 mini album. And we have completed pages 1 through 5, or yeah, 5, and today we're going to get started on page 6. So I'm going to move this aside. So page 6, um, I went ahead and put a notation here. This is the spine side, and page 6 is a very simple page. So it won't take us very long at all to put this in. There's one a flap that's gonna go over here. It's very small. And I believe it is, yeah, one and five eighths, one and five eighths by six. And you're gonna score half inch and lay it down. And this is gonna be um, the flap that holds the waterfall in place. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. And I want to remind you that um, if you're interested in the cut list or um, or want to know what materials were used in the video, go to the description, click on the show more, and the first thing you'll see is the list of materials. And then if you continue to scroll past that, you're going to see um, the cut list. And all our videos are organized the same. Um, and then lastly, if you go to our channel page, Scrap and Create, there's some menu items there, and one of the menu items is playlist. And if you want to see um, all the tutorials for a given project, um, we put those together for you in a playlist so you can locate all of them. And they should be, and most of the time they are, in the order that you actually build the album. So there'll be a walkthrough so you know what you're building. The next one will build your base album up, and then, then I start in um, the interactive components and the designer papers for the particular album that you're looking at. And they're organized by paper title. So if you're interested in um, a particular paper, Graphic 45 or something else, um, and you wanna know if we've got uh, a tutorial for it, you just go to the playlist and browse around for the paper title. In this case, it's going to be uh, Dreamland, okay? So now that we have this in, the next thing we need to do is add a magnet uh, to just the one side here um, because the, uh, the adjoining magnet is actually going to be on one of the waterfall flaps. Okay, actually, I don't need to do that right now. I'll come back and do that in a minute. So here's the paper that I selected to go on the base mat. This is from the 12 by 12 Patterns and Solids. And I can't remember if I, which way I decided to do that. This way, okay. <sighs> I didn't mark which side was up, so I had to rethink it. Look across and see what was going to be on the adjoining page. beautiful okay now um, as I did on the previous page did I do that right I gotta think about that uh, this is the spine actually I actually meant to put this this piece on this side um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as it is so I had originally wanted this to be a mirror and meaning that I would want the these two to open in opposite directions, but I'm gonna leave it where it's at. Um, I think I'm happy with that. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is install the waterfalls. And just like on, I think this is page, yeah, page two of the album, I'm gonna inset it, and I had inset one and one eighth inch, so I've got a reference line here. So I'm ready to go ahead and lay in my waterfall peach pieces. So I'm going to move it in one and one eighths, and then I'm going to center it top to bottom. And then once I get my first one in, it's really easy to use it as a guide to apply the rest of them. Okay, there's one. Okay, and there's a total of four.
and I'm going to use my straight edge to help me keep um, the tops of these straight. And here's our last one. So when I'm laying the ruler in, I'm actually pushing it against the edge of the paper until it stops. And then when I go to apply this, I'm applying it toward the ruler so that it's actually catching on the edge of it so that it'll be perfectly straight across the top. Now it's really hard to make these all exactly the same. Um, it just happens that way, oops, coming out of the, I put that down wrong, so I'm gonna see if I can't lift it. Coming out of the um, trimmer that way, I'm gonna to try to carefully lift this and straighten it. Um, and because I didn't burnish it, it's coming up pretty good, but not perfectly, okay. Um, so you have to kind of make a decision. Do you want it to be straight on top or the bottom? Because sometimes you can't get both. So I think your eyes are naturally drawn to the top of the page, so that's where I put my straight line. There we go. Okay, so now all four of those are in, so we're ready to go ahead and place our magnet. So I'm gonna place one on this top waterfall and one on the arm that reaches across. Oops. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna reach across and press this into place. Okay. All right, very good. So that is in, so then um, I've got this piece that's gonna go on the arm, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. And I'm gonna try to find a contrast sheet. Here we go. I want to be able to get a good look at all the edges here. And I forgot, but I do need to trim another piece to go on the back side of this. I don't think I had done that before. That's okay, we'll come back to that in just a moment. So the next piece is this piece. It's gonna go here. And I'm gonna actually dry fit it on this flip page. Yeah, it looks good. Because I didn't want to lay it down on top of my magnet there. All right. And this is just like page two, so there's a pattern on the top and then a continuation over the next four waterfalls, three waterfalls. Here's some slamming around in the background. I do have contractors here today. So here are the three strips that are gonna get added and they go in this order. Okay, so this one's gonna get added to this edge.
next one. And our last one. And because I did some color blocking here, I've got to add, um, you don't have to, if you want to save paper, of course you can just leave this black as a photo mat and your photo would just go partially over uh, this design feature. And let me give you kind of an example. So if you had a photo, you know, it would just show a little bit of black and white on each side. I still think it looks fine, um, but if you've got the paper, why not use it? And I do, so I'm gonna go ahead and put an alternate pattern for each of these, like so. I'm just making sure that they all fit and that they don't get hung up in the hinge. So let me see, this one might fit a little bit better. I'm actually going to take a slip. Okay. Just a little. Okay, that makes it a little bit. Now I don't have to worry about it getting hung up on the hinge. I'm getting excited. We're getting close, guys. All right. A little too much glue there. Okay. And so on the flip side here, I've got these four pieces and I think I'm gonna alternate the pattern. So I'm going to, oh, that's the wrong direction. I think go like this. So I'll have blues and dots. So on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and make it blue. But first I'm gonna make sure it fits. Perfect. And it's inked. I can hear my contractors in the background, so hopefully it's not too distracting for you guys. I thought I was going to have the whole day to myself today, but then I got a call this morning um, about 7.30 saying change of plans. So they're painting, so it's actually pretty quiet. Okay, so now we're going to do the alternate, which is going to be the dots on this side, and then we'll do this pattern over here. So I'm going to pick the one that fits the best. And this one seems good but let's check this one this one actually fits a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and use it I'm anxious for them to get done with this bathroom uh, it's my son's bathroom so he's using ours and I hate that <laughs> He is 17 and he just doesn't pay attention to anything. So I'm ready to have him out of our bathroom. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can all appreciate that. Okay, or at least the ones of you that have children. Okay, now we're gonna put this over here and I'm going to double check it. And it looks like it's trimmed just right. So it goes straight in, piece of cake. Beautiful. Okay, now we're ready for another blue piece. Let's 
see how it fits. And it doesn't look square, so I'm going to check that out real quick. Okay, it's square, so maybe the panel I'm putting it on isn't square. Okay, I think I actually, it is, it's fine. I put it on slanted, ready to go. Okay, and then our last piece, going back to the polka dots. It looks good. All right, so those are all in. And here's our magnet that holds everything in place. So I need a couple things. One is I need a piece of paper to go on the back side of this. So I am going to try to locate something uh, wide enough to fit there. And hmm, I can do, I think blue or orange are the colors that are gonna look the best. So I'm looking for a scratch piece of orange. And I think I want something that's that actually. I think that's too much orange. Let's see what are my other choices. Oh let's see. What about this? Not crazy about that. What about this? Oh this is perfect. Okay so this was trimmed off of what was this trimmed off of? I think this is yeah, this is from the 8x8. So there is a, and I'll show it to you. Here's a sheet like this in the 8x8. And so the, here's the umbrella girl right here. And it turns out, I did actually have this picked out and trimmed for this. It's exactly the right width to go on the flip side of this. And I'm really happy with that. So I just need to trim it shorter. How's that look? Perfect! Actually, it might be... I might need a little more off. I don't want it to get stuck in the hinge, and I know that is... I mean, this is one that's going to operate a lot, so I want to make sure it's completely out of the hinge area. So that there's no interference. Let's see. I think that's good.
Okay. That, ladies, is page, and gentlemen, page six. Okay, so we are moving right along. Um, so the next thing is page seven. And I'm gonna take a break and go upload what I have here on page six, and I'll be back with page seven shortly.